want to 3D print furniture at home? Yes, you can actually do that. I'm 3D Fish, and welcome back to the 100% 3D printed series, where we explore amazing designs that are entirely printable at home. In this video, we're taking a look at something unique, a 3D printable furniture piece called the Cube Wave by Geoshape. Consumer grade 3D printers have come a long way. A few years ago, the idea of printing usable furniture on a desktop printer would have sounded impossible. But today, with printers like the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, the P1S, or even larger beds like the H2D, designs like this are not just possible, they're becoming more accessible. The cube wave is labeled as a side table, but really it feels more like a small shelf or stand. At first glance, it looks like a simple cube, but take a closer look and you'll see the wave pattern that runs in the center of each shelf. And because it's completely 3D printed, you don't need screws or extra materials. Just slice, print, and use it. Printing the cube wave pushes your machine to the limit. The design requires a minimum bed size of 256 by 256 millimeters. And on my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, it barely fit. Each part takes about 20 to 22 hours to print and uses roughly 800 grams of filament. I printed mine in PLA and it turned out surprisingly strong. For infill, I used 15% grid, which kept the print strong, but also saved time. If you want to save some filament, you can likely get away with 10%. So how does it perform in real life? The cube wave works well as a small shelf or stand for books, plants, or even a lamp. It's stable enough for everyday use, though, of course it won't replace heavy-duty wooden furniture. You can scale it down to make a stool, or scale it up for a larger shelf or coffee table. Just be mindful. If you scale it up, the walls of the shelf also become thicker. Depending on how much you scale, they may turn out thicker than necessary. I chose to keep the default at 100%. The cube wave comes in three different parts, the top and bottom piece, the middle section, and a shorter version of that same part. You need at least three parts to make a functional unit, two of the top or bottom sections, and one center part. The version you see here includes two extra center sections, which used about four kilograms of PLA and took a total of around 100 hours to print. I decided to make mine taller, so I printed more than the standard amount. The Cube Wave by Geoshape is a great example of how far 3D printing has come. We're no longer limited to small trinkets of prototypes. Now you can print larger, functional pieces of furniture at home. And that's exciting to see. It really can be a unique addition to your living space. But it's not perfect. The heavy material usage is one drawback, and the design itself also has some limitations. The interior dimensions and the wavy bottom shape restrict what you can store inside. Small books don't fit neatly, and depending on their size, you can only store about four to six per shelf. Honestly, it works best for things like video game cases or filament boxes. That's the trade-off of its unique look. If you have a printer large enough and you want a standout piece for your home, I definitely recommend giving this one a try. Thanks for watching this episode of the 100% 3D printed series. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what model you'd like me to cover next. I'm 3D Fish, and I'll catch you in the next print.